Hi, welcome to Tacoma Traveler. It is time for a 50th birthday morning plunge, and it's cold. Not a bit of full dip, but man, <laughs> cold, refreshing, awakening. I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever comes next. Okay. Okay. So that wasn't that wasn't what I had envisioned. That wasn't a, a full-on, you know, full-body plunge or anything. But um, given that it is. Uh, yeah, we're hanging right about 45 degrees and that water is icy. That was about, I'm going to call that good. I did think about going back in and doing it like full on, but I was like, you know, I think I'm good. I feel reinvigorated. Now I've got my warm oatmeal and uh, my warm coffee. And I'm going to sit and really just... Nice relaxing morning. I haven't accomplished too much. I'm pretty chill. Yeah, literally and figuratively. So we are now leaving the Lower Gladi dispersed camping area, which is where I stayed last night, um, in the Monongahela National Forest. Um, really nice area. Unfortunately, it it's a beautiful area. It's not too, too difficult to get to, and those two things together mean that it gets a lot of use. And uh, unfortunately, I've been really a little disheartened by the amount of trash. Um, trash left in, in the fire rings, trash laying around, cigarette butts, beer cans. Um, yeah. It's, uh, it's sad when, when folks can't take care of you know, can't do the basics to take care of space, but um, but all in all, really a beautiful spot. Let me show you something. I just I slowed down and stopped because I want to show you this beautiful thing I just saw right here. So yeah, I mean, and that's just kind of everywhere. Now, granted, there's been a lot of rainfall, and, and so some of these waterfalls might not always always be there, but. I mean, it, this is just, just a gorgeous area, uh, really beautiful. All kinds of different types of camping spots, uh, most of them easily accessible from a vehicle. There are a lot of what looks like also like tent sites that you could just, you know, maybe park and walk to, so um, some big open ones and some smaller spots. Um, I didn't count, but there's a good amount here. I, I would say upwards of probably about 20, 25 spots at least in this area, but we are off to our next spot. We are off. I have about, uh, maybe about a four hour drive now to our next spot. Well, this sure is a pretty road in to this area. The road has been nice. So we are arriving at the Grandview Sandbar New River Gorge National River area. Where there is supposed to be camping for free. Let's see. Just arrived. This is uh, 
is not a bad spot considering it's that magic word free. Got a picnic table. Got the river right there. Yeah, I think I can make this work. I had the chance to use my flat pack fireplace at this campsite. It was my first time using it and I was super happy with how it performed. I did probably overload it just a little, but um, it held up and I actually was able to cook my dinner on this. I'll be doing a full review of this fireplace uh, in a later video, but suffice to say, it worked. I just spent my fourth night out. Now, as you can see, we're on the road already this morning. Um, but I was just thinking, I've spent four nights camping now in nice, decent campsites, all of them with fire rings and legit campsites, all for free. I mean, that's pretty cool. Like, there's all kinds of stuff out there. I look a little funny right now because I washed my hair this morning. Anyway. Um, yeah, so we're on our, on our way out from the camping spot that we stayed at last night and headed to a place where I hope this is going to work out this morning. Um, it, it's a thing that I don't want to share too much about it because I don't want to, I kind of want to make it a surprise a little bit, but it's supposed to get a reservation and I have had like no internet service for so much of this trip. Like most of this trip, the only time I've had internet really is a couple times on the highway when I've been going like 70 and can't do anything. Um, yeah, I've had very limited internet, much less than I uh, thought I might. But anyway, uh, so I haven't been able to make a reservation. I'm getting going to get there early this morning, early-ish. I've got about an hour drive, and uh, I'm hoping that it'll work out. If it's not, if it doesn't, I kind of have a backup plan, but we'll see. Oh, isn't it just a gorgeous morning? It's like a, it's like a beautiful, beautiful morning. Could be a little warmer, but you know, I'm not going to be too picky. There is a catwalk 
that runs the entire length of this bridge, which is the third highest bridge in the United States. And I, along with a group of other folks, are going to take the opportunity to walk this catwalk the entire way across the bridge. arched span runs about three quarters of a mile over the New River Gorge with the river far, far down below. What made this even a little more interesting was that the catwalk we were walking on shook in its entirety every single time a vehicle passed by above. something yeah I was uh I was a little terrified through part of that the walking wasn't so bad but there was a lot of stopping and talking interpretive tour stuff and uh very nice gentleman leading our tour he had tons of like really interesting bits of information facts figures statistics all kinds of interesting stuff I didn't hear too much of it <laughs> Oh, it's good to do things that terrify you now and then. And I felt like a big wuss because everybody else was super chill. But I did it. I did it. I have a feeling, I've kind of lost track, but I have a feeling this is more than enough content for this video. This video, whichever one this is, I don't know, maybe this is like three for this trip, is running pretty long, I think. Um, but what I'm going to do now, just a teaser for my next video, is I'm going to walk a trail takes me out to a point where I can look across at the bridge that I just walked underneath. So that will probably be the start of the next video. So until then, I'll see you next time.